get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Hey you guys, it's your girl Star. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And today, we are back with another IVF update. We are starting IVF again, you guys. So, quick recap if you're new to my channel. Um, I did two egg retrievals that was unsuccessful, not because of my eggs, because they never even got into my eggs. The first one I premature ovulated and the second one I was having issues with the anesthesia in my breathing and because of my anatomy my doctor couldn't reach my ovaries. So from those IVF procedures we decided to take a break and try a couple of IUIs. I believe I had five IUIs. One of them was back to back and they were unsuccessful. So I was like, okay, it's been some time. It's been like past six months. My body's a little bit different. So maybe we can give IVF one more round, okay? And here we are. So I had my baseline appointment today and they called me back. I was supposed to take, well, based off my protocol, I was supposed to take medication in the morning on day two. But of course, you don't start medication so your baseline is clear. So I got the call. Everything's good. No cysts, no everything. I did the estrogen priming this time with also goner relics just to make sure that none of my follicles are growing quicker than they should. And it could grow at the same pace and speed. So everything was great. I got the green light. And what I wasn't expecting is they wanted me to start my injections tonight, but basically two times so i did my morning injections just now or i'm going to do my morning injections now and my night injections i'm going to do at eight o'clock so they want you to do your shots between six and eight it could be different for different clinics so i did my morning injection at 5 30 basically i'm going to be doing them now and then I'm going to double back with Bay at 8 o'clock to do again and then do it again tomorrow morning. So my protocol is different. It's kind of like a mini stem, mini IVF. So it's 75 Menopure units of Menopure and 150 Gano F. So each time I'm doing them twice a day. So each day I'm doing four shots, you guys. Four. I'm going to do the ones in the morning and Bae's going to do the ones for me at night. And I have an appointment on Friday on treatment day four to see how everything's going, making sure everything's growing smoothly and follicles is working. So I'm more positive this cycle because I think I have some time off from all this medications and stuff like that. And I don't know, I'm just in a better place. Like I've been through so much when it comes to this fertility journey. And it was so depressing. Like I just, I even stopped picking up the camera at all. Like I wouldn't even record trigger shots, nothing. It was like, what's the point? It's gonna be a negative, right? But then I'm like, if I keep going at that attitude, it's always gonna be a negative. I will never get a positive because that's what I'm putting in the universe. So I had to change my attitude. I had to change my spirit. And even though I know God put me on this path for a reason and he wouldn't give me nothing I can't handle. So I can't go against that. It's just going through it. It's hard, but I have to change my attitude. Like no matter how hard it is, just know it will be worth it. And I know it's going to be worth it because I'm putting it in the universe. I know it's going to be the cycle that we get our baby. So time for some shots.
pulled the trigger, guys. He did it. Today is egg retrieval day. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. I'm hoping I didn't ovulate. My eggs are still inside and they are able to get my eggs out. That's what I'm praying for. Um, it's early in the morning, it's almost seven. My egg retrieval was at eight o'clock. Me and Bae's about to head out. It's the old TD for the day. Cute shirt I got from Ipsy with these Jenkins I got from Fashion Nova and my egg retrieval egg socks that I also got from Ipsy and I got my daddy with me. This is his fingerprint that says daddy's little girl. I know they're gonna make me take it off but I at least want it for the ride and so I'm there. So next time I see y'all will be after the retrieval or at the retrieval. Cause I don't think I can record again cause it's still COVID. So checking in. Hi. Faye's like, it's too early for this. <laughs> I'ma let her drink some of her tea, then she'll be awake, you guys. Give her, give her a few. I won't be awake, I'll just be soon. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> y'all, okay, mm -hmm. we got five eggs. We got five on it. Five. <sighs> y'all don't know the relief. <laughs> and it's exhausting. Exhausting, yes. I was in there for a minute. Uh, they probably, I don't, she probably 20 didn't hours later. I wasn't in there for 20 hours. I think I was in there for five. Five? For five. Five hours, an hour per egg. <laughs> yeah. That's my, what I said, babe. You know, I was like, well, we got five, five hours. You know? Listen, my doctor, they even had to call my doctor, okay? She was determined because I have, my body's not typical. It's not like the norm. I have blood vessels in front of my ovaries, and you don't want to hit a blood vessel because that's like, I think fatal, right? You bleeding from the inside if they hit a blood vessel? Well, it could be fatal. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not it's not good. It's not good at all. It's not good. So I have blood vessels and stuff like that, but they had to give me general anesthesia after like they gave me the regular mild, but then they gave me the general just to make sure. And I'ma insert a clip of my the doctor who was doing my procedure, how he said they had to keep pushing. <laughs> pushing. Okay, just to get them eggs out. Them eggs was like in different places but on both sides they said what, what he said it was two on the left mm -hmm. three on the um it was three on the right and i could tell it was a rough one yeah it was not it was crying huh? girl i don't yeah. know Yucky. <laughs> we got five so tomorrow we'll get a call to see how many are mature how many fertilized we're praying all five is mature all five fertilized and all five make it to day three, day five. What? You were sleeping good. I was sleeping good. A slob on the side of your lip. Girl, it was like a margarita. I, they knocked you out. I didn't even, that's the thing. I didn't even know when I was knocked out. Cause first she said she put something in my IV and I felt it. And then she's talking 
And then out of nowhere, I just woke up. So I was in there for like 87 minutes. Mm, I know. I, believe me, I know. I, I know, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to get you some breakfast or something. Hello. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you this morning? Fine, and you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, um, do you have a few minutes to talk? Yes. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I did not have good news. Of the five eggs that we retrieved yesterday, um, only two were matured for insemination. And those two, when they tried to do the ICSI yesterday, they were not successful. So they washed them overnight um, to see if they will um, mature further for insemination. And this morning, both uh, degenerate. They didn't make it. They they didn't make it. No. So they, we don't we don't have anything at all this morning. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Um, were there bad quality? It is quality issue, yeah. Yeah. So I just I just spoke with Dr. Jaffe and um, she said for you to schedule a follow up, you know, send a message to the nurses to the portal, and she she will have a consult with you to go over everything, discuss next steps. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. Really sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, all the best, okay? Okay, thank you. Take you there.